Scott, the urban beekeeper. Taking a quick look at the bee yard. I think I have 13 active hives in this area. And I'm going to be uh, getting taking a few hives to another place, so I'll have... Uh, never mind. Everything appears good. And I'm moving too fast. That's why I gotta work on this. I gotta start moving slower in my bee yard. Don't wanna scare them. Don't wanna scare me. This is what I found. I inspected not too long ago. And there's so many hives. And there's so much to think about that I started writing on the lid in permanent marker what happened during that hive inspection. So like when I inspected this hive on 7512, everything looked good. I had a good queen, it was the laying pattern was good, there was brood, there was honey, it, everything was strong. This one here I had previously identified didn't have a queen, so my mentor gave me a queen cell. So I wrote that on there when I put that queen cell in there, right on top of the lid. So now I can, I don't forget which was which. This is a fun little hive. put another box on it. It's pretty strong. This one needs to be inspected. But they look to be working pretty well. I don't know. This is my best producing hive. You can see there's a lot of bees. I recently got two and a half gallons of honey out of one medium box super here. Uh, I got 30 pounds of honey. That was a pound and a half of honey on each side of the each frame kind of average and that's the high end of what you would expect to get out of a that size box, I believe. Oh, started moving fast again. Gotta move slow, gotta move slow. Give them time to navigate around you. I don't know if this would at all do this credit. If you can see this in the video, but they're just in and out, in and out. There's a bee every... There's a couple bees per <laughs> cubic yard out here. In and out, in and out. Didn't really inspect these ones either, which I should. I think that'll be what I do today. Let's inspect the hive together. I wonder if I got a tripod. <laughs> 